Keith here, along with his brummy protégé, Mr. Hudson. Oh, yes. But now, though, this welcome Kanye West and his protégé, Mr. Hudson. <laughs> Now, did I do the right hand shake? Because I never know what to do. You did that, didn't ya? It was like into a hug. It's like a this, like this, like a hug, yeah? Is that good? Because I, I do the, I do no, the no, old one. finish it off, though. Oh, what did I do? Yeah? yeah. Oh, yeah. you see, what do you do, Mr. Hudson? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the Ashley Spamante open. You'd like some of that? Mmm, can ya? <laughs> you are in for a treat. <laughs> It's a bit like Cristal, but... <laughs> but warmer. It's been mixed with yeah. Febreze. <laughs> would you like a... Um... Please, yeah. Yeah, oh, this... I never thought this would be open. Thank you very much, Alan. Thank you. So, how did a bloke from Birmingham mm. get to work with Kanye West? Mm. How did this happen? <laughs> it's a long story. How long have we got? Oh, we'll get to the best bit. <laughs> I made a record called A Tale of Two Cities. Oh, yeah, when you were at the library. That's right, and, um... That's a band. He doesn't work in a library. Look at this. Now, one of the few people that got hold of a copy, mm. along with yourself and my mother, was Kanye. Yeah. And, uh, I think you quite liked it. Yeah, he, um, he had this song on there, uh, called Super... Supermodel, yeah, which I, I loved him. Yeah, unforgettable title. Yeah, unforgettable. Yeah. <laughs> have you taken Kanye to Birmingham? I haven't. No, we have been to Brom, haven't we? Was that we where did we a show in Birmingham? Him? Yeah, the NEC. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we should stop. In now. It's obviously had an effect on you, Kanye. <laughs> have you been there? I don't know where I'm at anymore, <laughs> at all. <laughs> oh, it's best in Birmingham, though, not to know you're there. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Think, looking at you, I think you've got a bit of a bromance going on. Don't what's you a, think What's so? a bromance? Yeah, what's that exactly? Brotherly love. <laughs> it's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> now you hang out together, you make music together, you've gone on holiday together, haven't you? Well, mm, I think... No, I haven't been friends, on... Um, yeah. I think... <laughs> in Amsterdam That's together. That's right, yeah. Well, we were in Amsterdam and decided to go cycling, you yeah. know? <laughs> <laughs> because my, my life is so much like planes and car services. It's good to just jog or bike and you get inspiration and just slow down because in this, this Twitter age and the media and the amount of information, like, you know, you know me, like, I, I'm super anti-Twitter. I hate Twitter. Like, I hate when, you know, celebrities over Get out! <laughs> Get out! <laughs> So when you were cycling in Amsterdam, you didn't, did you go up near the red light district? Oh yeah, I, I'll visit, I'm, I, I'm a big fan of porn. I, okay. <laughs> well, I think, I think... Something's wrong with your audience when that gets the biggest cheer. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I think porn stars are the unsung heroes of our culture because, you know, everyone you uses, uses porn, but no one would want to you know, go to a black tie event with a porn star or something, and people feel so embarrassed, but everyone uses them, and they, they bring something, you know, I feel like society has taken something that's very animalistic, like sex, that is ours, and taken it away and bottled it in packages, it's like, it's like bottled water, the first time you saw bottled water, it's like, who's gonna pay for water? But now sex is like the greatest commodity that people use, and it, it's the power of women and everything, so, it's, for my mentality, like, I don't think yeah. you're watching porn, I think you're watching the Animal Channel. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, we, we really ask people, we really are the animal channel. Look at how we attack people. Look how we attack Michael Jackson. Look how we attack our celebrities and stuff like that. It is the... It is the news. The news is the animal channel. Mr. Hudson, do you like Hello. a cheeky wank? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what, what's one of those, Alan? You know a cheeky wank. No, I mean a cheeky one. What's, You've what's... got five minutes to kill. You're on your bike in Amsterdam. <laughs> 
a public one. Uh, Al fresco. Well, in Amsterdam, no one cares, do they? <laughs> I don't have time, I'm afraid. You're that busy, yeah. you can't even have a wank. Come, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give him some time, Mom. <laughs> I can't do anything without having a wank. What's a wank exactly? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's necessary. It's a necessary part of life. Yeah, I've had yeah. a creative. <laughs> I'll Cheers. drink to that. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, are there three people in this bromance now? <laughs> Thank you. Come on. <laughs> now, you've got a track out together. Let's take a look. It's called Supernova, and it's brilliant. You got it wrong if you say our love is gone. You got it wrong if you say our love is gone. You got it wrong if you say our love is gone. You got it, yeah, I feel like taking off. Let me be the supernova star before you make the biggest mistake in your life. You use the vocoder on Correct. the track. Why do you use the vocoder so much? Well, Kanye uses the auto tune, and I use a, a, oh, a, a different, different thing altogether. So it's actually quite a subtle craft. Well, you know, it's like it's this big uh, backlash in um, in America about the sound of auto tune, and you know, like people use this word like it's a bad thing. And I saw this old video of Herbie Hancock up there, like uh, playing his keyboard, and he had the uh, the talk box, and he announced to the crowd, thanks to this talk box, a guy like me can actually sing. Like, you don't even picture, like, Herbie Hancock not being able to sing because he's just a genius or whatever. And, like, after a while, you just get past that. The song, Heartless, you know, when I, did, I did a song with Young Jeezy called Put On, where I used auto-tune. Then I did a song with Lil Wayne called Lollipop, and I ran into Quali in the airport, and I said, it's really fun to sing with the vocorder, and I think I'm going to do a whole album like that because, you know, I don't give a fuck. So... <laughs> Well, my late aunt loved a vocoder and she just used to collect them and she's left two in her flat. And I'm going to go over this one. You go over to that one there. Oh, who, that me vocoder. Or yeah, both of you. Yeah. yeah. Cause I wanna, because cause I want to play a quick game. I'm going to test you on some famous jingles from adverts using a vocoder. You've got to sing the rest of it. Now, you not know these, Mr. Asen, because they're English ones, OK? okay? <laughs> a little better, that's why it's, Oh, you know. right, I see. Yeah. He does all the work. Well, thank you so much for coming on. Good luck with the album, Straight No Chaser. Thank you Kanye very much. West and Mr. Yeah. Hudson. They've been brilliant. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. After the break, Sarah Harding will be here, and these guys will be performing their new single. <laughs> 